Hey guys, so I just wanted to check out a ROM here for the Galaxy S7 Edge. This is a S8 ROM which aims to turn your S7 Edge into uh, the same kind of experience you get with the latest S8 and S8 Plus. Uh, so I have installed this, it's called the Dark Lord ROM, which I really do enjoy the name I've got to say. Uh, so this uh, is coming uh, with uh, quite a big file size, I think it's 1.7 gigabytes, so we'll leave a link in the description uh, if you want to check it out here. Uh, so you can see from the actual interface, we do have the same uh, interface as uh, the S8, which you know we can see here. Uh, in terms of the icons, etc., as well, very similar, as well as the way you swipe up to access things, uh, which uh, is very authentic. Uh, we do have the ability to uh, use Bigsby as well. Uh, so this is the uh, Bigsby like information center. You can also use the like voice assistant kind of thing. Uh, which uh, you know if you want to check that out you can do uh, in the settings you can see we get the same uh, themes and wallpapers here uh, so you can see we have uh, all the standard wallpapers from the S8 uh, and the S8 Plus I think this actual ROM is based upon the S8 Plus because uh, when I plugged it into my computer it gave me the uh, S8 uh, Plus in terms of the identification. Uh, you'll find as well the same uh, in terms of the notification area and the quick actions. Uh, so just have a look at the actual uh, information here. So you can see the S8 Plus uh, is the device name. Uh, in the software we can see this is based on Android 7.0, Samsung Experience 8.1. Uh, so that uh, is quite nice, you're getting quite a recent patch level as well. Uh, it's actually quite an e uh, good to install because you have an aroma installer as well, so uh, it guides you through it, you know, telling you what you want to do. And I think they've actually de-bloated it a lot as well because a lot of these apps I had to re-download, like the Samsung Internet, uh, which you can get on quite quick. Uh, we do also have the edge as well, like the edge panels, which I think the actual core functionality doesn't really differ uh, too much here from uh, the, uh, you know, uh, the S7 Edge, which already had this kind of thing anyway. Uh, so you can, you know, use that to your heart's content. Uh, so all the, you know, uh, Nugget uh, features such as your multitasking, etc., works fine. Uh, you know, in terms of stability, you can see uh, going into stuff is very cool, and they have also translated across the uh, the active uh, display, the same kind of active display. So if we just wait a second here, uh, you can see we're getting the active display, which is exactly the same as what you get with the S8. You even get the little button here, which I don't think actually works, uh, because obviously you have a home button with the S7 Edge, so you can see the actual lock screen looks very similar we have the same in terms of the you know layout of the uh, buttons etc so that's quite nice as well uh, so let's just have a look at the camera as well we should have a uh, uh, you know camera here or maybe it's so debloated they don't have that or is it there yes it's there so let's just uh, make everything maximized so you can see we do have some pop-ups here and you do get the Bigsby integration as well the Bigsby vision thing which uh, I haven't really checked out but you know it looks pretty interesting so you can see the camera uh, is uh, st still the Samsung here it looks like uh, Samsung in terms of the you know interface and it takes a shot just as quick as you you know do want it to take which is good uh, I think if we have a look in the settings we should see everything is pretty much as it should be uh, you're not missing anything so very nice uh, in terms of you know translating across uh, a Galaxy S8 experience here for those of you who got the S7 Edge or S7 uh, I might do uh, performance comparison if anyone wants to see that, you know, speed test with the authentic uh, S8. Uh, but really liking what they've done with this ROM, it's given the S7 Edge, uh, you know, a lease of life here because Samsung rarely, uh, you know, brings down the most up to date uh, TouchWiz or uh, Samsung experience for the older devices. So if you want to, you know, get this on your device, uh, I will leave a link in the description. 
uh, and uh, you know show you how you can do it so uh, yeah just a quick little video here checking out the dark lord uh, s8 uh, plus rom here for the s7 edge hope you found it helpful and i'll see you in the next one cheers